Hello, everyone, and welcome to a very special episode of Fallout for You, oh, Seb. Yeah. We're going to talk about mods now because yes. we have been playing Fallout 4 for the last three days, mm -hmm. and we have some thoughts on the mods that this game needs yes. as soon as as possible. Yes. But we should say, so far, our experience of playing Fallout 4 has, has been, been incredible. Fantastic. Yes. We are loving this game. These are not broken things. They are just things that could be improved because that's what mods are all about. Exactly. Uh, obviously, mods, for the most part, are going to come later. But there are some mods that are going to come very, very soon. Yes. Mods that simply need to tweak game code. Very so our, similar in the style to, to Witcher. Yeah, so a uh, good friend Gopher, he made a great video actually, but mm. talking about how he expects there to be day one mods, yep. not using the Bethesda uh, creation kit, no. but using just, you know, kind of hacking of the code, which we do see that they're often not um, uh, sophisticated mods, but no. I'm sure we will have some. But so anyway, why are we got, here? Well, well, I'll tell you what, why, because we've got 11 mods that we have put together that we think this game needs as soon as possible. And the reason we're at the Red Rocket is because our first suggestion is a workshop overhaul. Yeah, so the workshop system, let me give you an example. Like, say you want to build something. So, okay, I want to, I want, I want to, I'll tell you what, actually, I was thinking about this the other day. I want to put stairs so I can get on top of the roof here. Well, that's not going to work, is it? Well, almost. <laughs> I can kind of jump. So, oh, no, it's not going to work at all. <laughs> so you could probably put something on the side. Yeah, that but, was more just my, my crappy skills. But what this really needs, right, yeah. is to be able to do it from not this angle. Like, yeah. building from the ground like this doesn't make much sense. It's no. really tricky, uh, even with even with a lot of practice. This is ridiculous. We like, need, this is Right now, this is ridiculous. You need What we need uh, is like a I want either a, a free camera up, mode up. or an isometric mode. Jumping up. You know? Oh, now, now it's convinced I want stairs back down again. Well, <laughs> there you go. Yeah, we need a, a top-down, like, yeah. isometric view, hmm. or even just, like, you double tap yeah. Y in your free camera, yeah. and you're, like, Minecrafting your way around this. Big time. Um, and it's... Oh, yeah, there we go. So, again, this is still not working. I'm just going to scrap that, because, you know, what? why the hell not? Um, so that would be one really good addition to this. Um, also, another thing, right? So what I was trying to do the other day is... Uh, this is a really cool place to make your first structure, by the way. Yeah. Um, I was Which in, like, you find very early on. Yeah. This is, this is a an early location in the game. So I was realizing, like, you know, I can kind of board up these windows for, for security. Well, uh, I mean, it's weird there, because if you, like, that one you just placed, for it, example... It kind of clips through, but it... it clips through, but it, it let me do it. It's, it says it's fine. Yeah, but then I try to do the same here. Yeah. Arguably, it looks better, and it's like, now... No, 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 you can't put it there. Can't place it there. That's not allowed. So, what does it need? It needs force placement. There needs to be yeah. the ability to be like, ignore the red lines and just put stuff there. Yeah. Um, because it's all red. It's not as if it already, everything slots together perfectly. There's a lot of like wibbliness. So why not remove, why not just let us have all, all the wibbliness we want? Yeah. I mean, you can rotate things and stuff, but like... You can't resize them. You can't resize things. That's another yeah. thing I like. I want to be able to resize the bits that I'm trying to place. I mean, I know that will mean you could, you know, you could put like tiny, tiny stairs, well, build I mean, a miniature house. You know what, maybe even but if maybe they let you resize things um, within a particular set of parameters. So, for yeah. example, like your Whoops. stairs there... Instead of having Ugh, two sets side. to make it up to the to the roof there, yeah. you could have either one large set or two slightly smaller sets that perfectly match the height of the you know, the roof yeah. you're trying to get on. I mean it's it's a really good I'm really glad that this exists. Oh the yeah. ability to do all this stuff. It's really, and really it's cool. open up from almost the beginning of the game. Yes, like it's it is. it's something that you have immediate access to once oh. the game sort of gets into it proper. I don't have enough wood. Okay. <laughs> it's quite well right. you can just scrap some I stuff. Can just there scrap are trees. Some stuff. Trees. trees. So, I mean, it is a really good addition to this, but I think um, it, for this to be, to really fulfill its potential, mm. we need those kind of three things. We need to be able to resize stuff. More importantly of all, we need a kind of free camera or oh, a top yeah. down view and force placement. That's what we would love to see in a mod for the workshop. So, workshop overhaul mod. Someone make that soon, please. Please. I said Fallout 4 is beautiful on PC. It I mean, really is. I've not actually played it on anything else yet. I know you had a look at the I've Xbox version. I've had a go version. on the Xbox version, How which, by look? the way, it does look very good. I mean, PC is clearly better. I mean, you, frame rate for a start. Yeah, the, we're pulling down yeah, 60 yeah. here. So the frame rate is is very noticeable, um, and also the texture quality. I think are probably the two main things. That you the light, the how's the lighting, lighting on the Xbox? Lighting's still very good. Okay, yeah. good. So... Uh, but because we are playing on PC, because we've already got it on Ultra, it does mean that there's room for improvement. There's oh, always yes. room for improvement. And so the next mod that we would like to see is 
an ENB that includes depth of field. Yeah, so, um, because right now, if you, there's depth of field in this game when you get into a conversation, but if I like, look at this, you can see the crane in the background there is still perfectly in focus. So some sort of like dynamic depth of field that mm. these EMBs always, that we had in Skyrim and everything yeah. always added, that would be really good. But also just like the color palette in this game is lovely and colorful. I'm really pleased that it is, mm. but I would like different options. You yeah. know, like I would really love to see what a uh, kind of de bit more desaturated EMB would do you would go game. even more desaturated than this. Yeah, well, it, this is colorful for Fallout. Like, look at it. There's well, a I lot mean, of color it's, here. It's colorful now. I mean, it, at the beginning of the game, it's even more colorful, of course, because, you know, before everything yeah. becomes completely wasted and irradiated. But, uh, you know, I would like to see an option to, to get more color back in, like make the wood colors richer and see, just see what it, that looked like. Or even the night sky, which was something that we were considering putting in the list. It's not. But the night sky is is clean and tidy but there's no color there's no yeah. there's nothing exciting about it really i think yeah but that, i mean this is one that's definitely going to happen because oh, sure. if you look at the, the history of modding mm. these games on the nexus it's always a thing that happens so soon. i i guess actually this one is directed at boris Voronstov. so yes. boris you i'm watching. sure you're already working on this but if you're not get, please get work going. on this we need it we need it yes. i mean it already looks beautiful we should really highlight that i mean at least I think so. I mean, mm. if you just pan around here, the lighting is lovely. Mm. It's a serene, you know, irradiated forest. Beautiful. But I want depth of field and I want the option of different looks. Thank you. Yep. And number three on our list of essential as soon as possible please mods mm -hmm. is an immersive HUD, iHUD or similar. Yes. Uh, so at the moment, Cam, you've turned the HUD off completely i have because i mean mainly because we wanted to talk about the graphics at, um in the previous suggestion but also i, I really hate uh, a very intrusive hud and i think yeah. this one has quite an intrusive hud so if i go to settings and display and i come down to it's just the hud opacity. opacity yeah all i've done is put it down if i put yeah. it up to fill which is default yeah um we can see like it it does take up especially when you crouch i mean it's just very green and in your face yeah. and it, this is a very beautiful game i think so it kind of for me it ruins it what we want is like we've always had in, in skyrim from uh -huh. very early on and in uh, new vegas and fallout 3 in fact we want iHUD yeah. or something similar, which basically makes the HUD turn on when you need it. So if I yeah. walk up, like now I'm not on any combat. I don't need to know what my health is. Um, I mean, you could argue you need, you need the compass, but you know it's good to be able to have that turn on a hit of a button. Yeah. Um, and also um, when you walk up to an object, have the the highlighted thing appear. So have the door. crosshair only appear for when you're using like a gun, for example. Yeah. Or, yeah, all that kind of stuff. But the, I mean. It is worth noting that Bethesda has at least taken on board some hints because your action points, which we are currently sat over in our picture-in-picture, -picture, are not visible yeah, until you that. start running. Yes. But so then they'll stay visible until they're fully charged and then they'll go invisible again. Yeah. I so, I mean, there are yeah. little bits, but also even simple things like the placement of your different... Um, your different HUD elements. For example, what you could do is you could have HP and action points and everything just tucked over to one side so that they're completely out of the way. It's just simply options. Yeah. Having options to change the amount of intrusiveness or yeah. usefulness now, I know of your HUD. A lot of people don't care about this kind of stuff, but um, I mean, iHUD was incredibly popular oh, on yeah. the Nexus, so a lot of people do also care. I mean, it's a, I, it's it's an RPG, so like you want your immersion to be complete, complete, yeah, and I also to agree. be to your taste. So having something like iHUD at the very beginning of your playthrough is really really important over say some a mod that adds new quest lines or something yeah. like that you know i mean if you look this is a beautiful vista and right now it's ruined by the compass and our health i would, oh, say. I would say not ruined but tarnished it's maybe interfered with yes yes yeah Oh my goodness, this is literally our first Super Mutants we've ever seen. Oh wow. So this is the perfect time to talk about number four. So number four is uh, an update to something like the, uh, oh Dance of Death. Oh um, God. Any mod that Ow. changes how the VAT system and more specifically how the uh, executions look in Fallout. So I have always been quite vocal about not being a huge fan of the way Vats does executions. Oh, that, for example. I just died. <laughs> I didn't think there'd be super mutants there. Last time I went okay, there, there was well, just like fine. a robot. That's fine. Okay, all right. We'll take Try another that swing at that. Uh, <laughs> so basically, as I was saying, it was the, the way that the executions happen um, is 
has not changed since Fallout 3 and Fallout New Vegas either. So essentially what happens is you kind of get a zoom in on you firing your gun or swinging your club or whatever it is. Like this. And then a really tacky looking ragdoll thing. Here we go. So zoom in, shoot, and then just uh, <laughs> fall to the floor. I don't know. I For me, that does nothing for me at all. I feel like the drama of it is not particularly profound. Um, so often the ragdoll is a mess. And I don't know. I just feel like they could have done something a bit more exciting with it by I now. I missed. No, oh, I missed again. Yeah. Hide. It's hide. Okay. Uh, so I would say um, something that also changes up the slow motion a bit, you know, because uh, when you go into vats. Oh, oh well, okay. <laughs> that Wee! one at least was quite good. But, you know, look, it's wibbling out. And yeah. I mean, Dance of Death was always good because it gave you options. And I think, yeah. I mean, I don't hate the Snander stuff as much as you do. Yeah. I don't find it really tacky. It's a bit wibbly, but I, I kind of find that endearing. But I, I'm with you in the fact that the ability to control how often you see them, that's what I want. Because yeah. be, I want every kill to have some sort of awesome animation. Or if that's annoying me, I want to be able to turn them off entirely because mm. sometimes it disrupts your combat. It's amazing how I loved the way they did it in Skyrim. Yeah. You know, like... That I thought the drama in that was really fun. And admittedly, the ragdolls in that could also break. But uh, I always found it really oh. uh, satisfying, you know, when someone would, like, take a head off and you're like, whoa! Whereas in this, you know, if you bash someone's head off, it basically just turns to mulch. Which, yeah. well, you know, Oops. when you do that the first time, you're like, oh, that's really dramatic. But, you know, you... the Oh, God! When it's happened a bunch of times, He's it fast. kind of just seems the same. Wow. Yeah, he's really One hit he's kills. much better than you are. Yeah, so we're not really powerful enough to be at this point as you can see, but Um I think we are. I think you're just not very good. Oh. All right, Seb, time for the first of our three dog mods. Hello, buddy. He's now, just standing on pipes he is. because he loves us. Commanding dogs in Fallout is quite good, yeah. I must say. First thing you need to do is uh, yeah, hit command, and then you can move them around the map, tell them to go places, tell them to interact with items, all these different manner of things. Can I tell them to disarm lasers? No, I, think I, I would inspect laser oh, chip wire. This is going to go This horribly. is going to go really well. Come on, boy. Cam, if you kill He's dog, like, no, uh, I will not. Yeah, right, that's fine. probably for the best. I will, uh, I will disarm tripwire. Yeah. There you go. But um, what I would love is, the reason you might have noticed is with actually a much earlier save we have uh, we booted up. And the reason being is because our more advanced save, we have lost our dog. Yeah. Uh, we don't know where he's gone. Although it does seem to suggest that we still have the dog when we get new companions. Yeah. So uh, it, that is a really strange way of not being able to call your dog when he's not in line of sight. So what so, we need yeah. is what you have in Metal Gear Solid mm -hmm. and lots of other games is the ability to whistle for yeah. your dog. No matter where he is, you whistle and he comes running. That would be so useful. Yeah. This is not in the game. I'm not quite sure why. Um, so that's the first thing. I mean, you we can have always him... do it line of sight. Yeah. So whenever your dog, even if he's really far away, if he's in line of sight and you can sort of highlight him, yeah, so... then you can sh sort of shout and go, hey, boy. Hey, get that running. metal bucket, for yeah. example. But yeah. as soon as you hit B and then you're no longer in dog command mode. Um... Oh, no, wait. Am I still? Yeah, I'm no longer in dog command mode. I need to go over to him again and hit command to then enter dog command mode again. Mm. So if you command to do something and then, you know, cancel that and then get on with your shooting or whatever you're doing and then you realize you've lost your dog, yeah. you kind of need to go and find him. So the second reason why that having a dog whistle would be super useful um, built in is because there are several points where you get into tight spaces like we are here where you don't want your dog to just naturally run off and get himself hurt. Wow, great So instead, me. yeah, well done. So instead, there you go, you got one in. Um, you you go up to your dog and say, stay. Like, I want you to wait here because I can't have you running off, getting all reckless and getting yourself hurt. Yeah. Uh, I can't handle losing you, basically. Yeah. Uh, so you leave your dog in a place, but then you clear out the room. Then you have to go all the way back to get your dog. Yeah. You know, why no. can't you just go like, okay, the room's clear. <laughs> You know, and, and he comes off running. He comes. Yeah. yeah. So that is the first of our dog mods, and Absolutely. probably the most important one. Mm. So, Seb, the next dog mod we want is dog vats. So right now, I have a dog. I can't command what he does in vats. I would like to be able to do that. Yeah. Because maybe I want to. Ow. Ow. Sorry. You well, died. he just 
Yeah, exactly. I blame the lack of dog vats there, really. Yeah. Because um, the dog will automatically attack, and later on, there is a dog park, and mm. spoilers, if you don't want to know where the park is, stop listening for a few minutes, but there is a park later on which allows you to say to your dog, hey, grab that enemy, and it makes it easier for you to shoot them. Yeah. However, it would be much better if you could just hit a button while you're in vats, and then you can say, all right, dog, uh, attack his left arm mm -hmm. to get rid of the gun. Like, that would be a really, really cool addition to the very, game. That would be very, very cool. But it doesn't exist. But with mods, it could. You know, in modding, I think you'd make that a perk because, you know, you've yeah. got to develop the bond with your dog. Yes. And then as you train him to be very effective, then you unlock something that says, okay, hold his left arm out the way or attack his ankle so he falls yeah. down. Or... So what I do here is I'd hit, I don't know, Y, for example, which mm -hmm. doesn't seem to do anything here. And then you could be like, all right, dog, go for that left leg. Yeah. And rather than me having to shoot it in the left leg and missing, God, that wasn't a, even a bad chance of hitting Ooh. and we still managed to miss. Yeah. Uh, oh, we got it there. He could go and nibble and uh, that would be a really cool way of, of utilizing dog in combat. So now that we're back outside, there's one other dog mod that we would like to see. Yes. And this we realized when we first picked up something for ourselves, which was a bandana. Gunner's camo bandana. Yeah, so we've given this to Dog, and he doesn't wear it. Now I'll turn on my light, and you can see clearly no bandana. Dogglesworth, come back here. Show us your lack of see, bandana. What we? Oh God, he won't stay still. Hey, if only there was a way to say stay. Yes, yeah. which there is. Uh, hey. Stay. There you okay. go. Look at him. I mean, he is wonderful in so many ways, but I want to be able to give him items to wear, and that doesn't seem to be a thing that you can do. Now, we mm. should say we haven't... Maybe there's dog items later in the in the game. I couldn't find any so far. Nope. It might be possible, but if not, there should definitely be ways to customize your dog. Give yeah, him stuff sure. to wear. Yeah. Imagine him in an adorable little hat. Yeah, I mean, we've got a few different hats. Uh, we've got helmets. Um, oh, gas masks would be a little too far for sure, but like welder's goggles... Yeah. I mean, you could put a, give him a little bandana around his neck, some welder's goggles on his eyes, and he'd be, you know, wasteland dog. Exactly. And I mean, if you're gonna cool. if you're gonna keep him for the whole game, yeah. I mean, you really have to look after him. You should also be able to dress him. I think so. Yeah, he agrees. Yeah. So here's an interesting idea. That, Go on then, uh, Sam. I only realised when we were about five hours into the game, which is that. For all of the customization you get on your character, all the different like goggles and hats and uh, you know bits of armor that you can put over basic clothing, very very thorough. But it's missing one part, which yes. is shoes. That's very true. You cannot change your shoes. Your shoes are part of whichever item is your lower half, basically, or part of your um, outfit as a whole. And so I think this game would be interesting if it included changeable footwear. Yeah, so if we go into our apparel now, we can see that um, it highlights, whatever item you're selecting, it highlights which parts of the body it covers. So you basically got like, um, what some things that will do the whole body, like the, 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 the shirt, sorry, the suit, for example. Mm -hmm. And then you've got stuff to put in your head and stuff you can put on your face as well. Some are face and head. Um, but there is no options that are, your feet are never highlighted. No. The shoes are dependent on what else you're wearing. So, for example, if we put on our lovely laundered blue dress and we go to third person, we can clearly see, <laughs> complete with gas mask, we can clearly see little, the little sandal nice little slip-ons. No, I think, yeah. they're, I think they're just little... Slip on, uh, I forget what you would call these shoes. Um, we don't have toggle free camera yet, oh, incidentally, yeah. um, but they, they look really cool, um, but we can't control them. Nope. I would like to be able to wear, you know, big old, like if you're out in the wilderness, you're going to need a great pair of boots. Oh, yeah. You know? Like that last a long time. I would like to put them on with, with any other item. Like a dress. Yeah, why not? You know, I mean, because you need a, a fancy laundered blue dress, but you maybe want to be oops. wearing that dress with. Uh, I don't know, flip flops, yeah, or or just something or sensible, you know, like when yeah. you're surviving the wasteland, you're mm -hmm. gonna wear your helmet so your head is safe, and you're mm -hmm. gonna wear your boots so you can walk around for miles and miles. But sometimes you say you want to look fantastic. Well, yeah, you know, and sometimes you just want your clothes to breathe because it's a hot day. I mean, and, you know, yeah, a nice lightweight out. dress uh, is preferable over heavy armor and leathers, you know, but Absolutely. the footwear needs to be strong because of the rough terrain. So, so there you go. You know, that's us just taking this game way too seriously. That is mod number eight. Oh, yes. Shoes, please.
Let's set up a piece of functionality in this game that I was sure we were going to see after Skyrim was the ability to dual wield weapons. No, and you cannot no. do this nope. in Fallout 4. And we've skimmed through all of the perks to make sure that oh. uh, it's Ooh. not something that you just unlock later in the game. But uh, no, yeah. there are no dual wielding options. You can shoot legs off, though. Leg. I haven't done that yet, actually. Leg is gone. Okay, you can just bop him to death. But, but only with one gun. Yes. Imagine being able to bah, 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 just like, dual wield smash his skull in. Like I feel that. like dual wielding is a, a mod that could be that could be made. Oh, oh, we can probably turn this guy on. Yes, anyway, let's not do that for now. So yeah, dual wielding, make that a thing. It makes a lot of sense. It was great in Skyrim being mm -hmm. able to dual wield. There's, you don't need two hands on this pistol. You can do it with one hand. I mean, fine, decrease accuracy, whatever. Give me two pistol, a laser pistol and a regular pistol. We looked through the perks. Yeah. Dual wielding wasn't there. Or even like Let's a make pistol a in one hand and a baton in the other. Yeah. Or something like that. I mean, it's quite... What I think what they've done is... Because what I like is how you can both fire and hit with the with a melee weapon... Sorry, with a gun. So it's mm. really good. So, you know, you're firing away. Bam, 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 bam. Someone comes up to you and you wallop them. Mm. That's cool. But it would be good to also have the option of, of dual wielding. Yeah. Moo indeed, Cow, because it's mm. time, or not Cow, Brahmin really, yeah. it's time for our penultimate mod, which is Explosive Creatures. Now, if, hello, hello. Now, if you are a fan of Skyrim mods, our old show, uh, which I'm assuming you are, yes. then you know our penchant for things that explode. Specifically, chickens that explode. But there are no chickens in this game, or at least no. not that we have seen so far. Yeah. There are actually only very few uh, docile creatures left in Fallout in the Wasteland. So, yeah. Brahmin being one, uh, was it Rad, Stag, Doe? Yeah, although they will also attack you sometimes. Oh, yeah. okay. Well, so, so everyone's pretty violent. Yeah, so be careful. Yeah, I mean, obviously the humour was the fact that the chickens are just these, you know, completely innocuous, totally innocent, totally non-violent um, NPC animals. The hell? Uh, yeah, something's kicking off. So something like uh, explosive Brahmin. Maybe you could even have like over irradiated Brahmin or something yeah, like that. Yeah, ones that kind of glow a bit green and then if you get too close to them, they might detonate. Like that'd be cool. The closest you can do, of course, now is set one on fire. Mm. But I would quite like an explosive Brahmin. Yeah. And no one seems to mind that you did that. Nah, she's all right. Not even the owners of the farm. Well, I crippled myself with yeah. fire. <laughs> How did quite... you do that? I don't know. I was too close, I It's just too warm. Yeah. Okay, well... That wouldn't have happened if this had been an explosive. No, they, that would already have uh, detonated. There. Okay, well, bullets. Now, that's unacceptable. Explode, damn you. Why is he walking towards the bullets? Nothing makes sense anymore. Oh, I killed it. What do you think you were going to do? Uh, explode it. And finally, Seb, mm. arguably the most important mod of all. Oh, yes. In Fallout 4, we need Kevin Van Nord. This is more of a call to action than anything else. If you are watching this and you want to get into modding for Fallout 4, yeah. we want you to make Kevin Van Nord and put him in the game. And then we can we can come and find him. But as a particular character. Well, there's options. As sorts. There's options. Yeah. He could be just a follower you find, or you oh, can yeah. recruit. But he could also potentially be, and this is the suggestion we had from someone in the comments. Oh, yeah. He could be the Mysterious Stranger. Okay. So um, if you're unfamiliar with the Mysterious Stranger in Fallout, there's a perk you can get called the Mysterious Stranger. And the idea is, if you have that perk, if you're in a lot of trouble, sometimes he will just appear and help you out. You know, shoot from distance, kill a bunch of bad guys, and then just go. Never say anything. Yeah. That's well, that, a perfect character for Kevin that Van is Nord a very to be. It's, he doesn't speak, so no. uh, yeah, that would work out very, very well. So if you're in the middle of a firefight or a, a deathly struggle yeah. with a Brahmin, then yeah. he could appear and just and just end it for you. I think that would be a very, very good fit. And if he was a follower, he could be one of the few followers in in the whole of Fallout 4 who doesn't say a thing. Yeah. And imagine how easy that would be to, to yeah. create. You don't need any voice Someone acting. who doesn't speak. Exactly. And there we have it. That is our 11 mods that we would like to see as yeah. soon as possible. We argue that Fallout 4 needs these mods as soon as possible. Yes. I Let mean, it, yeah. number 11, probably the most importantly. Yes. That, uh, all the others 
very, very importantly as well. Let us know if uh, if you agree, what mods you'd like to see. Yeah. And of course, keep watching Cam and Seb because we're going to be doing loads and loads of full out stuff. We have already have three episodes. If you're watching this on the day it's going out, there's other two episodes, other two videos to watch. Yes. Okay, so there's go and see loads. them. Tons. And uh, as soon as the first mods appear, I mean, it could be in the first week, obviously not with the creation kit, as we said. It could be. But people could be making minor adjustments. And if you're wondering what they are, you know, we will be scouring the Nexus every day and we will definitely let you know as soon as there are mods available. Awesome. So enjoy Fallout 4. Let us know what you think. And thanks for watching.